Happy New Year, one and all. We are so glad you're here with us today. This video is part two, a continuation of a six part series called We Love Chicken. This is our New Year's resolution, is to finish what we have started. And our second New Year's resolution will be on our next Ninja Chef video coming soon. Let us know of your New Year's resolution coming down below. If you can recall, part one of the six part series was chicken and broccoli pasta. We had so much fun making this dish with you because it was easy. We did eat and enjoy. That's what Ninja Chef is all about. In our Fast and Furious segment, we'll be making chocolate fudge with a twist. Surprisingly, this chocolate fudge will be healthy because we will make it Ninja Chef style. We're also going to continue our trip to Kennedy Space Center. In our segment, let's take a trip. And to close it all up, we have the tip of the day for you. Through our video, you'll see my little Ninja Chef drawing for the new year. She is really becoming a great artist. Happy New Year! Bring out the intro! You need simple cooking equipment that you already have in your kitchen. No need to go out and buy. We are saving you money. If you don't have these cooking equipment, it's okay. You can use what you have in your kitchen. No problem. The ingredients you need are very simple. Here at Ninja Chef, we make everything easy for you so you'll have time to eat and enjoy. Don't worry about writing anything down. All the equipment and ingredients are written for you down below. Just click on show more. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's slice our two potatoes with our favorite knife. No need to remove the potato skin. That's the Ninja Chef style. Place the potatoes in the Ziploc bag. We have four sweet potatoes, but for the purpose of this video, we're only going to slice two. And go ahead and place them in the Ziploc bag. Two large onions, red and yellow, but we're only going to use half of each. And we're going to go ahead and place them in the Ziploc bag along with the potatoes. Next, we have a red, yellow, and orange pepper, but we're only going to slice half of each. Have them join the potatoes and onions in the Ziploc bag. Slice four baby bella mushrooms and place those in the Ziploc bag. Go ahead and add one tablespoon of olive oil to the vegetables. Add a half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And mix the vegetables in the Ziploc bag. Leave to the side. Time to wash the chicken. Cut off the end and remove the inside and pat dry with a paper towel. Season with salt on both sides. Season with black pepper on both sides. And season the inside of the chicken with salt. Time to create the rack with carrots and celery. Let's start with the celery. With the smallest scissors you can find, cut the back of the carrots. Baby carrots are already done for you. No need to prepare. Let's start making our rack with the celery stalk. Then place the baby carrots in between the celery stalks.
time to place all of our veggies on top. If extra veggies are left over, you can cook them in another Ninja Chef dish. Place the chicken on top. In the oven it goes. While the chicken is roasting, let's work on the garnish with the green onions. Add the garnish to a bowl. And set to the side. After one hour, apply olive oil to the chicken. Then place back in the oven for 30 minutes. Using a thermometer, let's test the innermost part of the thigh. When the temperature registers 155 degrees to 160 degrees, it's done. Transfer the chicken and the veggies into a serving tray and garnish with the green onion. Bon appetit! Ninja Chef style! Go Ninja Chef! Coming up next, our Fast and Furious segment, Don't Miss Out! Chocolate Fudge Recipe with a Twist! But wait! I promised my little ninja chef to feature her New Year's drawings. On our next video, we'll feature more of her New Year's drawings. So let's get started with our chocolate fudge recipe. Ninja chef style! These are the equipment we need. Very simple. And we only need two ingredients plus the one secret ingredient. First, you want to grease a 5 by 7 inch pan with melted butter or oil. Go ahead and use a brush to spread the oil all around the pan. Place the parchment paper inside the pan. Leave overhang on both sides and apply oil to the parchment paper as well. This makes it easy to take the fudge out of the pan when it's firm. Apply the second parchment paper over the first parchment paper in the other direction and also make sure to leave overhangs on all sides. You also want to coat it with oil. Cut the chocolate bar into smaller pieces. In your favorite pot, add the condensed milk. And set the heat to low, then add the chocolate. Stir for 4 to 5 minutes or until the chocolate completely melts and becomes smooth. But wait, there's one healthy ingredient needed. So what do you think the secret ingredient is? Is it kale? Let's unwrap. It's an avocado. All the way from Chile to our Ninja Chef kitchen. Shout out to Chile! We love you guys! Make sure the avocado is right by pressing on the top and the bottom and at the sides. Okay, it's ready. Let's cut the avocado lengthwise. Doesn't it look beautiful? You can remove the pit by using a knife, but be careful because this might happen. So let's use a spoon. That's the Ninja Chef style. We are ready to scoop the flesh out of the peel. Cut the avocado in small pieces to fit the handy chopper. 
No need to mash. Let the handy chopper do the work for you. Add the avocado puree to the chocolate mixture and fold in the avocado. Let's make sure it's in so the kids will not question. Pour the mixture into the pan and refrigerate for 3 to 4 hours. It has refrigerated for 3 to 4 hours. Let's check on the fudge to see if it has been set. Well, it looks like it's not set yet. This time we're going to place it in the freezer for 24 hours. Here we are again. The next day it has been in the freezer for 24 hours. Let's check on the fudge. Let's make sure it has been set. Hmm, I'm not sure why this is not working. So you know what you guys, let's place it back in the freezer for 48 hours. It has been in the freezer for 48 hours. I am lost for words. My little ninja chefs didn't get to eat or enjoy their chocolate fudge. They were so disappointed. So we went to the market and just bought some chocolate fudge. Problem solved. Easy, eat, enjoy. Go ninja chefs! Comment down below if you try making chocolate fudge recipe. Who knows, it might have worked out for you. Or did you also go to the market and just bought some chocolate fudge? Now that our tummies are full with our roasted chicken meal and our faster and fewer chocolate fudge, let's take a trip. Wasn't that fun you guys? In our next We Love Chicken video, we will have more footage on this awesome trip. Stay with us for the tip of the day. Have you noticed throughout the video that our burners are covered with aluminum foil? Well, we do this to have an easy cleanup and we always can recover with new aluminum foil. Comment down below if you guys use this tip as well. Go Ninja Chef! Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.